Guys, we're at E-Mart. We thought we'd take you along. We have to um, go see the pharmacy and then also show you how to order food at the food court. So it's really busy here today, but here we are at the Yakub, which means pharmacy. And my wife got a burn, so we have to get some cream because her arm itches. But here we are. This is our daughter Claire. She's tired right now, so we got her in the uh, the baby backpack. And our son Nathan, say hi. Pretty busy day here. Okay, so we uh, arrived at the food court. The cool thing about Korean food courts is that you can see pretty much what you're gonna pre-order or what you're gonna order. You just come over here and see what looks delicious and it has the price and a number associated with each item. And then uh, after you decide what you want, then you go over to the, um, the cash register and bless you. <laughs> and uh, tell her what numbers you want. So this is all like plastic displays of what the food is. So it never goes bad. They don't have to recook anything here. It has the title of, of what you're gonna order and how much it is. It all looks really good. They have larger meals too, like this first one right here is called bulgogi tapap, which means bulgogi over rice, but they just put it side by side. And this is ozinga tapap, which is uh, squid. Ozinga means squid over rice. So you can mix it all up, but these are some bigger meals here. You want pop and moo? Yeah! Okay. When you pay, you get little receipts like this, and the receipt has what you ordered. I guess it's uh, my wife's order, how much it costs, and then also the number that's associated with this. So this is number 169. This is an order of extra rice, which just costs a dollar. It's order 170. And this was uh, my bibimbap, and it's also order 169. So there's all these different uh, kind of restaurants or stations, and you just order at one place, the cashier, but each uh, food you have might come from one of these different restaurants. And you can see they have their menu here, and then also these uh, LED screens, and when your number is ready, when your food's ready, they'll call your number up and you just go up and grab your food. So each station has a numbering system. So now we just wait till our food's ready. So my, my wife's order just popped up on 69, so she's gonna go over there and grab her food. And there's also utensils at each one of these stations, so don't forget to grab them, which she's doing right now. She's getting her chopsticks and spoons. Uh, and if you need an extra bowl or something, you can ask them. Oh, our number popped up. Okay, so I'm gonna take our ticket. Nathan, can I have this please? All right, the wife's back to watch the sun. Okay, so you hand him your ticket. Masumida. So we have our chopsticks and our spoon already. And I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. It's pretty heavy. You hear it sizzling? <laughs> There's an uncooked egg in there, which will cook because the bowl is piping hot. But you have your kochujang in here, which you put inside of the uh, bibimbap and you mix it all up together. And then we have some, uh, you know, a type of radish kimchi. And my wife has other kimchi and, and her noodles. And then my son asked for rice and mu, so that's rice and mu. 
Good job for eating, Nathan. Okay, so you don't get uh, water with your meal. You have to come over to this self-service station. But uh, you'll see like a little, it looks like a refrigerator, but it's not. It's just a glass holder or cup holder. And these are all the same pretty much everywhere in Korea. So all these glasses in here are sterilized and clean. And you just grab one or however many you need. And then you come over to the water station and there's hot water and cold water. So you just come over here, fill your water up. And then uh, it's just free refills, but it's all self-service. And when you're done with your cups, then you come over here and dump it in this little bin, which is for dirty cups. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. But you put your kochujang in. Kochujang is the uh, red pepper paste. I'll get more of it in there later. And then you take your spoon and you just mix it all up. You can hear it crackling as it's really hot. Okay, so I fast forwarded for you. This is all mixed up. But anyways, if you order a hot dish, the bowl is going to be extremely hot. But this bottom piece is separate and it's not hot. So they cook this usually directly on the stove and then put it on this, this cold plate right here. So if you need to hold or move your bowl, your really hot bowl, just grab it right here and that'll help you uh, hold it in place while you stir. And this is what my wife ordered, karakotsu. Just pretty much just hot noodles. gonna eat it with kimchi. All right, we're all done now. So after you're all done, you don't just leave your tray here. You have to take it back to the same station or restaurant that you got it from. And there's an area that says return. So that says, please return your, your tray. You just bring it over there and they take it and do all the dishes for you. And there's, there's where it says that. So just look for the signs. There might be one whole area where you return everything or you have to return it at each individual station. So if you're not in the mood for Korean food, you can also come over to a more American style restaurant. Um, sometimes they might have McDonald's. In this case, it's Popeyes. You can go over there, but you don't order it at the counter where we ordered our Korean food. You just walk up to the restaurant itself. They have register there and, and you can order your food there. All right, guys, well, we're getting out of here. It was pretty crazy in there at E-Mart. We finished doing our, our little bit of shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed that little look into E-Mart. I know that a lot of you are really excited about the giveaway, so stay tuned. The uh, We're gonna announce the winner soon. And uh, keep uh, watching and enjoying our videos, and always remember to comment, like our videos. The more that you guys comment, the more that we can give to you and show you more about Korea, Korea's culture, different attractions. So uh, you being active is gonna help us be active on the channel too. So we'll see you next time and thanks for checking out this channel.